Okay, I had a customer that was wanting to add this design to a solid shape and what he's wanting to do is have an outline cut out here with this truck tabbed in and he was trying to figure out how to do that so I'm just going to show how I do it. So I've got just drew a generic shape here. I'm going to take and turn my opacity down on that so that you can see what's going on. I'll change the color to like a red just to contrast the black stroke here on this truck. Now I'm going to select the truck, select the path, and I'll align and distribute it there in the middle of that. Now I need to lower the path to the bottom so I'll page it down. That way my truck's on top. Now what he's wanting is to have an outline here to tab this into. So there's several ways you could accomplish this. One way would be with a linked offset. If you broke break this apart, you could do a linked offset and difference that out. Another way would be to break it apart and just do an outset multiple times until you get roughly the thickness you want. Then difference that out. The way I'm going to show you is just another way of doing it. I do it with the stroke width because I like some control over how thick my outline is so here's how I would do that I'll select this truck and the first thing I want to do is break it apart so I'm gonna hit shift control K or you could come up here to path break apart so I've broken that path apart now I'm gonna to want to select the outline of the truck and I'm gonna to want to duplicate that so I'm gonna hit control D which is you can go to edit and duplicate so now I have a duplicate path there and I'm going to use it to make my offset here or my outline so I'm going to go to fill and stroke menu set it to inches and when I do something like this I usually like an eighth inch path that gives you a pretty nice cut path for the torch so I'm going to to accomplish that, I'm going to have to set my stroke to a quarter inch. I'll show you why. I'll turn my opacity down on that stroke. And this is just to show you why I went with a quarter inch. You normally wouldn't have to mess with that opacity. But I turn the, the opacity down, and as you can see here, half of my stroke width is on the inside and half is on the outside. So basically what I wanted to show you is if I set it at a quarter inch, it starts from the center and goes out. So if I want an eighth inch outline, you double that and go with a quarter inch and that'll give me an eighth inch around the truck. So now I can turn that opacity back up. That was just to show you why I went with a quarter inch. So I set my stroke to a quarter inch. Now all I have to do is go path, stroke to path. And now I don't want to just cut this ring here out. I want to cut that whole shape out. So I would hit shift control K, which is path break apart. And then hit shift control plus. I got to click off the menu. Shift control plus, And that just unions everything or path union. It's the same thing. So now I have this solid shape. If I page that down and change the color. I have to page it down several times so you can see because it's got to go below each one of these shapes. But see I page that down there and as you can see I have a shape that is an eighth inch bigger than my truck path here and I'm going to just select my path there, the, the circle, and hit shift control minus or path difference and cut that out so now I've cut out a perfect outline of that truck an eighth inch bigger than my actual truck so now the only thing left to do is bridge my truck in there so I would just make my bridges I think the strokes on I turn the stroke off okay you don't want to make bridges with your stroke on because when you actually bridge it the size will be the size of your fill not your stroke so it's kind of misleading. If you have the stroke turned on, you set that to a quarter inch and your stroke's an eighth inch wide, you're not going to have a very big bridge. So turn the stroke off and let's say I want 
quarter inch bridges so I set the height to a quarter inch and then I could just throw a bridge here I'm just gonna randomly throw them on there I'm not actually cutting this so throw one here uh, rotate it throw one here throw one here and throw one up here in the center somewhere so now I can select that hold shift and select each one of them then I can select my circle then I can select my truck outline hit shift control plus or path union and union those all together now I have this circle with the outline cut out of my truck it's bridged in so the only thing left to do is I'll turn the fill off on this circle by holding shift and clicking this X oh no wait I'll just click the X that's if I was turning the fill off or the stroke off okay now I turn the stroke on by holding shift and I'll select black now I need to turn the stroke down because it left it at an eighth inch I'll change that to ten thousands so a one that's the Inkscape default stroke width now the only thing left to do turn my opacity back up because I've found certain programs if the opacity is not on a hundred percent that can cause a problem so the opacity is back to a hundred percent I'll select everything hit control K or path combine that's what control K is now I have that truck added to this circle with an eighth inch outline cut out all the way around bridged in it's all one path ready to send to the cutter the only thing left to do with this would be after converting a path or a stroke to a path as you see you got a few stray nodes here so you'd want to go around and clean these up reduce them smooth smooth a few out it really doesn't look that bad at the moment but but you'd want to go around and clean all those up this is just to show you how to so I've added that in now I would file save it uh, yeah just save it as a circle I already did this once but then you could open this up in sheet cam uh, select SVG and there we go so as you see I added that truck to that circle I have an eighth inch cut out all the way around it it's bridged in it's ready to go it should all cut nice hopefully that helps some people out thanks for watching